Well, it's day two, my first actual full day with the car. Yesterday I drove it about, I don't know, three, maybe four hours last night. No problems whatsoever. Um, a little scary because it was mostly mountain roads and back roads and stuff and I saw two deer and the last thing I wanted to do getting this thing home on the first day was hit a stinking deer. But once I made it to the interstate, the fears subsided. So it's drizzling a little bit. I gotta get to a store, get a couple of supplies, and then we're gonna put some serious miles on this thing and uh, see how it goes. So far, first impressions, love, love, love the car. I barely fit in it, but I don't care. I love the car. Anyway, um, we'll pick it up here in just a little bit. Westbound on the 90, getting ready to go over some kind of big old lake. Guys out fishing this morning. Love, love, love this car, man. It was raining a little bit ago, I had a little leak there. You can see some water still on the sea. Not real bad, it wasn't raining very hard it was raining medium but yeah stuff was getting in so I might need to need to get a new seal on that side and uh, but other than that no issues no dash lights no problems it's been uh, smooth sailing so far loving this trip I'm gonna try to make it to uh, Mount Rushmore today maybe even the Devil's Tower in Wyoming I'm still in Wisconsin right now but we'll see how the day goes Morning everyone, here we are day two and I'm currently in the parking lot of Rapid City University. There's a school over there. It's around, I don't know, eight o'clock in the morning, surrounded by hotels and getting ready to hit the road. But I figured I'd shoot a quick video um, before the day begins. Got quite the bug collection going on the front end here. It's, uh, it's not very pleasing to look at on my new car but what are you gonna do so today we are heading over to Mount Rushmore I've never seen Mount Rushmore so I'm gonna go check that out and then I'm gonna backtrack and head north uh, northwest to see the Devil's Tower in Wyoming where they filmed uh, Close Encounters all those years ago and then after that I'm gonna try to make it into Salt City Salt Lake City uh, by the end of the day and uh, that's going to be the day. I'm taking a few minutes now. I've got my, uh, I took the dash cam out of my TSX and I'm going to install it right behind that mirror there so I can get some dash cam footage of this thing. I think I'm going to get a new dash cam set up for the TSX and the, uh, the Princess's RDX. So I want to get a dash cam in every car. I think it's a great idea. But anyway, um, first full day on the road, I put about 700 miles on this thing yesterday. Um, I'm a big guy, 6'1", around 220 pounds. And the cockpit's a little cramped, but once you're in it, it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, 700 miles uh, yesterday, my back doesn't hurt, I don't have any problems. Um, it was comfortable. I even pulled over and took a nap in this thing, believe it or not, at one point. but. All the, all the gauges and everything works. There's no dash lights. There's no issues. The stereo button, the volume button right there, has some really bad crackling. Um, might have to... I, I hear there's a fix for that. i got to look into that. Had some slight leaking right here yesterday. It rained most of the day yesterday. Um, but that may have been just because I didn't have the window all the way up because it only leaked that one time. And... I didn't have any other problems after that. It cleared up enough to where I had the roof off and drove it with just the the open top. Really, really liked that a lot. 
that was an awesome feeling um, but yeah first impressions love the car it's got its little uh, quirks but really not too many it's just it's fast it's nimble um, yeah it's just a blast to drive as you guys can imagine I highly recommend it so anyway I'm gonna get this dash cam installed and we're gonna get this show on the road today I'll uh, get some more footage of the monuments later on so anyway thanks <laughs> <laughs>